Hello everyone and welcome to another English with Joseph. Well, as some of you know, I've been relocating from Barcelona to Scotland and here I am talking to you from a city near Glasgow. You can see from this window that uh, the weather is quite grey today. And I want the theme of this video to be more about descriptions. Okay, so you can see here I'm looking directly at a landscape, and we'll talk more about describing that just in a few moments. Okay, but first of all, I want to tell you a little bit about what's been happening. Well, I left Barcelona um, over a month ago. And here I am in my new apartment, now with Wi-Fi. To give you the idea of some of the experiences that I've had in moving here, well, after I left uh, Barcelona and returned here, it seemed that everyone treated me like I was a foreigner. To open a bank account here in the UK, to access the medical system, even to rent an apartment seemed to take a long, long time because they didn't recognize me as being British. Without a British bank account, without a permanent address, well, I'm just like anyone else who comes here. So it took a month for me finally to rent an apartment, which was longer than I expected, and here I am. So a word of warning, if you're coming here, not as a student, who often find that they can find accommodation very quickly, but maybe to find work or whatever, don't expect to find accommodation easy or quickly. It can sometimes take a little bit of time. Okay, so I'm living near Glasgow Airport. I'm just in one of the suburbs of Glasgow. It's technically another city or town. It's called Paisley. It's near the airport. You can see... a uh, plane taking off there on the, the screen I think and in a moment you might see a train because I'm living quite near the railway track there as well but I want to talk to you today about descriptions okay how to describe what you see so looking at this picture that we have on the screen here which is from my living room window how would you describe this what would you see now for some people all they really see is the dimensions. Oh yeah, wall, grass, green, electricity pylon, railway line, traffic. And yes, you can indeed describe things that way. There's really nothing wrong with that. But I want to really describe things in a little bit more detail. Okay? Because I want to catch the mood of the place. Because if you're involved in creative writing, or if you want to talk more about the mind, you have to know how to describe this scene correctly. So you can start off by saying, well, it looks like a main road, looks like there's a railway line, looks like there's an electricity pylon, there's an ambulance, so maybe it's near the hospital. But let's talk just a little bit more about the mood. What do you think a poet would say about this scene? Well, he might say, oh, there's a grey sky hanging over um, an electricity pylon. The mist is rolling over the trees and the mountains in the distance. Yeah, okay, well, he might say that if there were mountains, but what could he say about this one? He could say the traffic is swirling, just like the swirling of my coffee cup in the morning when I add milk. Okay, or he might say something like um, what else could he say? Yes, it's a red brick wall. A wall which perhaps in certain moments is full of graffiti and in certain moments is plain. Just like my mind. Okay, all very nice and all very, uh, very poetic. But what else do you think he could say about this place? What else could he say if he wanted to really capture the mood? Okay, well he could say, mm, how does this make me feel? You know, he could look at himself first, and if I look at myself, I say, how does this make me feel? Well, the sky is kind of grey, so that makes me feel a bit depressed. So, it's a depressing day, okay, um, 
the autumn colors are here. That makes me feel kind of peaceful. So it's a peaceful yet depressing day. Okay, so you have to ask yourself, how does this make you feel? And then apply these things to the scene. This is my second video on the theme of description, and it seems to be important because particular cultures in the world find it very hard to describe things. So let me again describe what I see around me. Okay, there's traffic whizzing past. That looks busy. It makes me feel a little bit stressed. Okay, so I can say, mm, it's a kind of a stressful day. Kind of a stressful day, I think. Lots of traffic whizzing by. Kind of a dark day. Kind of a grey day. Kind of a wintry day. Because this is all how uh, these scenes make me feel. Okay. So, um, let's again just look around here. We have an electricity pylon. How could we describe that? Again, it's grey. Well, it's not really important for me one way or the other. But what if I... What if I imagine for one moment if that pylon could talk? What would it say? Well, it might be a soldier. It might be guarding the area. So I could say, mm, it's very nice. There's something quite defensive about the area. And I say defensive because that pylon over there, that's the big metal structure, looks like a soldier. And that reminds me of defense. So I can say, yeah, it's quite industrial and... It looks quite defensive. What about the sky? Well, the sky looks like smoke. So I could say there's bellowing clouds. Or I could even say, that sky looks quite unforgiving. Unforgiving. Which means at any moment it could open up and send rain. So you can see there's lots of ways you can describe things. But it really begins by you, first of all, describing how the things make you feel. You know. So let's look around. The green makes me feel peaceful. So I can say it's a peaceful scene. The guard at the back, the pylon that I'm saying looks like a soldier, looks quite defensive. So I could say the scene is green and peaceful, yet there's something quite defensive and unforgiving or mechanical. Alright. Okay. All these cars swirling around are obviously going somewhere, very busy. So I could say, yeah, it's a nice scene. It's very peaceful, although there's cars quickly running around. And there's a pylon at the back there as well, which is standing like a soldier. So there's a mixture of peaceful nature, busy cars, and somehow a kind of defensive-looking soldier standing at the back there in the shape of an electricity pylon. These are just some ideas for you to think about when you're describing things. Okay, well, um, let's again look at uh, other ways we could describe what we see. Let's look for the down this time. We have kind of black and grey concrete. How does that make me feel? Well, it doesn't make me feel anything, really. It's just black concrete. <laughs> How should it make me feel? Well, the colour is quite depressing. So maybe I could say the whole scene it's a little bit kind of dark because of the weather, you know. Um, but that tarmac is very useful because there's things whizzing over it all the time, you know. It doesn't really make me feel uh, like anything on its own, but the traffic passing over it makes me feel mm, a little bit... Well, I could say uncomfortable because it's quite stressful, but I could also say, well, I'm happy. I'm happy to be sitting here inside my apartment while all the traffic is whizzing around outside. I feel quite relaxed when I see traffic moving. So does that mean it's a relaxing day? Maybe not. Maybe not. Anyway, these are a few ideas for you to work with, with description. Okay. A train whizzed by like a lady rushing for her shopping. Although I don't think she would be going that quick, I think. So, these are just a few ideas to introduce you to creativity. But in describing things generally, almost certainly you would ask yourself, how does that thing make me feel? In order to get an idea, okay? So right now, this day makes me feel a little bit depressed. Because there's rolling clouds, there's wet leaves, 
It's kind of autumnal, if I could sum it up by season, all right? So again, just some ideas for you to work with, all right? Um, if I wanted to turn this around to make this a happy scene, I could focus on one thing that I see. Let's talk about the soldier again. I feel safe because there's a big soldier standing over me there who's kind of like a guard. Well, if I was a poet, I could say that, but more than likely he's just supplying me with electricity, really. Nothing else. <laughs> okay, so that just gives you a few, again, rough things to work with when you're thinking about creativity. And I want you to start thinking this way just to get a few ideas. Using comparisons, for example. Um, or again, just trying to take something in front of you and seeing it from a different perspective. Okay, we see a brick wall there. But what's that brick wall doing? Well, it's supporting the bridge. What are the cars doing? Well, they're going to destinations. Okay, um, they're really modes of comfort. So, again, the day really is, I suppose, dictated by you. You give it the mood depending on how you feel. You can see this day as being a bit depressing, or you can see this day as being um, just a reflection of how you feel. Okay, well, these are just a few ideas, as I said before. I'll leave it there. And when I'm out and around uh, Paisley, I'm going to take some little video clips for you, especially um, over at the Wallace Monument, which is not far away from here which allegedly is the area that William Wallace of Scotland was uh, born. Okay, so we'll talk soon, and I hope you find this helpful. Thank you, and goodbye.